should have uh, which can go along with helping Head of Public Service Ambassador Francis Mudaura, Solicitor General Wanjuki Mushemi, Finance PS Joseph Kinywa, Finance Secretary Mutua Kilaka, and Permanent Secretary in the Prime Minister's Office Mohamed Isahakia had been summoned to appear before the Public Accounts Committee to respond to a range of issues pertaining to various payments made by the government where the PSC sought further clarification. But the big question of the day was exactly how 147 million shillings was paid to three law firms that represented the government in the Anglo leasing cases. Are you still admitting that uh, you paid, but you, 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 cannot, you cannot confirm that the money was actually paid? We request Treasury to pay. We have been requesting Treasury to pay, and they pay through the central bank. I actually paid the sums. They however admitted that the three law firms, one local and two from the UK, are yet to confirm whether or not they received the money. What are the particulars that if today you provide this committee, we would be satisfied that the firms so mentioned here are the ones who really were paid? The auditor is saying there is no evidence that the procurement rules were followed. In paying, we rely on the advice and instructions from the Attorney General. Yes, it was uh, staggered. It was not one off. We can undertake that before you write your report, even if in the course of next week, we shall provide this committee with the necessary remittance advices. We get confirmation from the lawyers. I think we should be able to get that. Since the taxpayer lost billions of shillings seven years ago through dubious companies that were to supply security equipment to the government, no one has ever been prosecuted. Despite the Kenya Anti-Corruption Commission summoning businessman Deepak Kamani over the anglo leasing scandal, Kamani is still believed to be in Britain, and efforts to extradite him to Kenya to face the charges are yet to bear fruit. Chris Dairu, Citizen Level 9.